Hello everyone. In this video, I show you how to create a class in SAP and how to define a simple method. I use per project my own package and create in this package then my dictionary objects such as tables, structures or programs, function groups and also my classes. But there are also classes that are cross project. In these classes are simple methods which take over simple functions. Such a function would be for example to return the email address of a SAP user. So let's start with the transaction SE80 and I have already a package here so I click on the folder set examples on my package, right mouse click create class library and class and now we have a window here we can put in the name of my class the name of the class should be in the customer namespace starting with a epsilon or a set and the naming convention is set cl underscore and i name my class examples global now I write here a simple description, global, example, class. The class is public, yes the default values are ok, then we click on the button save, then we, we see the package and we need a, a transport request if it's not local. And yes, this is our ABAP code example request. We click on OK. And then we see an editor with the methods tab selected by default. And we can uh, define here a method. And I call it get hello word. The column level, that means if the method is an instance method or a static method, in our case it's static. Static methods are similar, similar to function modules in that one instance exists in the program when the method is called. And instance methods can have uh, multiple instances in the same program. So the next column is the visibility, can be public. Uh, we want uh, to call our method from every other program. Then uh, there are protected, that allows the method to be accessed only from the methods of the same class or its subclasses. And private. That means uh, allows the methods to be accessed only from the methods uh, of the same class. Now we write the description here. Hello world. So that other programmers can understand the purpose. Then we click parameters. And we need some parameters here and there are, we can maintain importing, exporting, changing and returning parameters here. Importing, exporting and changing parameters work like the parameters in a function module. Returning parameters are useful for special methods uh, called functional methods which uh, just return one value. For example if they validate some logic and the return is a boolean, true or false. And when you use uh, returning parameters, you can't have any exporting parameters in the method. And we want to display the string hello world and we want to concatenate the, a name. So I write here the import value name, the type is importing. And the 
associated type is string and the exporting value I call it uh, hello world type exporting and the type is here also string and you can write here a default value or a description but we don't need this in this example then we click on activate and we see uh, different objects then we continue we activate this and now we click on the button source code and this is the source code of our method and we see here the if we click on the button signature we see the importing and exporting parameters of our method and now we want to uh, export our export value and so we put here a string so we write hello world and then write here the string hello world and I concatenate here my importing value the name I we name okay let's activate the code and run the method so here we uh, type our name for example John and go back and we can run the method and we see this is our exporting value our return but there is a blank missing so we go back to the code and we use here uh, a string template and let's test the method again we type the name here again and we see now the blank is displayed okay that was the simple simple implementation of a method with an importing parameter and an exporting parameter and uh, the next step uh, I want to uh, call this method in a program and uh, have an empty program here and now I want to call my method I click on the button pattern then up up object patterns and I type here my class ZCL examples global and then on method because there is only one method it is proposed immediately so click on the button OK and this is our code snippet the method call so and now we type here our name for example John and we make an inline declaration of our export value so I use the variable LV hello word and last I want to display this value so I write LV hello word ready print and activate so let's run the program okay we see this is the export value of our method the program calls the method and this is the export string yes that was a very simple implementation of a method and if you want to add some more method click on the 
folder methods, right mouse button, create. And you, we can set here the visibility, the type of the method and the, the method name and description and so on, parameters and so on. Yes. Hope you like the video. I like to use uh, such global methods to encapsulate uh, simple functions. These methods can then also be used by colleagues of mine. Yes, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you want. That always makes me very happy. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And hopefully see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.